Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and of course in this series on keeping Windows 10 safe and of course you can apply all of these trips, tricks to uh, Windows 11, to Mac OS, Linux, it's all the same for every operating system, Android, so on. So we talk about security of course and the first video we talked about kind of the myths, people thinking that Windows is less secure than other systems which is not the case as long as you follow rules. So today on this video, the rules are update, update, and update. It's extremely important. I don't know as a tech guy how many times I've heard over time people saying that some tech guys were telling them, don't update, um, it, it's not necessary, don't update your system, it's you know a way for Microsoft or to get viruses and so on, which is absolutely false. And I was always surprised to hear that people would actually do that. Also, do not uh, think that because your system has stopped making updates, that it's a good thing. It's not. You're getting behind in security updates. And updates are the number one thing about security. It's the number one reason you don't have viruses. Why? Viruses tend to exploit security flaws. And to have security flaws, it means you are not updating your system. More than 95% of all viruses exploit a security flaw of some sort, and that's how you can get a virus um, in most part. So, update. Windows update. Make sure your system in Windows 10, Windows 11, and whatever other system you're using is up to date. You want to know if you got the latest patch Tuesday updates? Kind of remember that every month we have updates for security. It's the second Tuesday of every month. So this month it was on April the 12th. So you can actually go right click on the start button, go into your settings, go into update and security. Here, if you're not sure if the updates are done, you can of course check for updates to see if there's any updates there. But if you go down to update history, You'll also know if you have the latest security updates. And here they are. Uh, cumulative update for Windows 10 here for April the 12th. And so there was a .NET Framework update, which also was about security. So my security updates, the latest that are available, have been installed. I know that I'm secure because I have all of the security uh, holes that Windows had at that moment fixed uh, by the updates. So that's very important. But updates are just about Windows. Updates are about every uh, app that you're using. For example, you're using Google Chrome, you're using Microsoft Edge. Well, the browser also needs to have an update. If you go in the upper right in Edge and look at help and feedback about Microsoft Edge, you'll see if you're up to date. If you're not, it's going to update itself to the latest version. A lot of these updates have to do with security flaws. Uh, Chrome. Chrome is another browser. It's actually the most popular one. So that means that Chrome also should have updates. And so go to the upper right corner once again. Go into Help. Go in about Chrome. And make sure that you actually have the latest version of... Google Chrome um, on your system. And what's going to happen is it's going to actually update itself if it's not up to date. Like here, for example, I know I needed an update. So it's updating itself right now to stay safe. So that means that this is the way that your computer is going to help you stay safe on your system. Remember that your computer um, uh, is basically the um, you know, the browser is basically the entry to the internet on your system. So by having an updated browser that has the latest security updates, it also helps in making sure that any malware that could be on a web page is going to be actually uh, difficult for them to really use any security flaws to do an exploit and then get a virus on your machine. And of course, you always relaunch. So every browser, every software that you use for different purposes, Microsoft Office has updates every month. 
a lot of security updates in there. You also have uh, Adobe uh, software. If you're using Adobe Reader, whatever software for PDFs, then there's an update. Every month, Adobe has updates for that for security reasons because there's malformed PDFs that could actually uh, infect your machine. So there's you know security hazards everywhere. And the best way, the number one thing, it's not the antivirus. The number one thing is to stay up to date with every single software you're using on your PC. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.